Hey guys, and welcome to another of my GIMP tutorials. Um, I got a lot to cover in this video, so I'm going to kind of go fast. If you need it um, repeated, just go ahead and restart the video and watch it again. We're going to make a banner, um, and the reason we're making a banner is so I can show you guys cropping, pasting, resizing, deleting background, and exporting the image. And we're also going to mess around with opacity. Okay, so this is the project we're going to be creating. Uh, if you notice, we have a Denver map. It's kind of faded. I have, some, I have a custom logo that I designed for one of my clients. It's a registered trademark. But then I went ahead and created Denver and coming soon um, custom font. And then I found some free um, workout images on Google that I pasted on here. Okay, so it's pretty simple banner, but it, there's uh, a lot to it. So we're going to get started. So first thing you want to do is find yourself a map uh, of whatever area you're going to be covering and you want to go ahead and open it file open the image uh, with GIMP and then what we're going to do is if your toolbar doesn't come up um, you're going to go ahead and go to sorry tools toolbar or just hit control B as in boy and if your layer toolbar doesn't come up hit control and L and then we've got our layers right here of course this layer would be the map so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower this opacity to about 20 and then we're gonna close the layers and what I'm doing is I'm clicking this window this skimp window and what's it what it's doing is as long as nothing is selected here it's it's selecting the entire image and then I'm gonna control C to copy it and I know for a fact that my banner needs to be 980 by 350 for my website. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I have a window exactly the size I need it um, for my website. So what I'm going to do is Control V, and that, what that does is paste this, uh, paste the image that we just edited, which is actually this Denver map. And actually, I'm going to do Control L, and I'm going to lower this opacity because we want that faded look. Because I think it really looks good uh, on these banners. Okay, so I'm actually going to move the image up here because we want to make sure we see Denver, and I want to see a little bit more of the map. So I'm going to use the resize tool, click the image. And then if you just want to make sure that this link is is locked so that you keep your aspect ratio. Otherwise your image gets skew, skewed. Hit scale and it'll scale it for you. Use the free move tool. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. See I don't want Denver to be covered up because I'm putting all my images and text over here. And I want this to be the focal point of my background. So. Now you're going to have to get some custom text for your banner. So the website I like to use is um, dingbatty.com. And this is where you choose your font type, name, the color of your font, the background color, the size, and the padding. Make sure you give a little bit of padding. Um, it makes editing uh, your file a little bit easier and see if I drag it over here um, you can see that the background is not transparent so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes on the PNG and transparent background hit create and now you see I have a transparent background I right click it save the image and then once you save the image and create all the text you need to for your web I mean for your banner then you want to open it with GIMP and so that's what I did here I have my coming soon and my Denver and if you have some custom text you like and you want to make it transparent uh, I mean the background transparent so you can use it as an overlay on your image just uh, go ahead and use this fuzzy tool um, layer transparency add to alpha channel and then we're just going to select all the white hit delete and now just like that you have a transparent background so 
Nothing selected as you can see. If something was selected, I'd use this free box. I click it once, click the window, control C to copy it, and now we're done with it. And we're gonna put it on the banner. So control V to paste. And we're gonna put that probably right there. And let's not forget the logo. This is already transparent, so I'm gonna make sure the whole thing is selected. Control C, and then click on the window, and Control V. That's a little bit big, so we're gonna do the free move tool so we can get a better view of it. And then we're gonna resize it, make sure the link is chained. And we're just gonna bring it down. That looks pretty good. We'll scale that. And you just want to make sure you grab it and drop it where you want. Click out here and it's been anchored. The last thing I'm going to do is the coming soon. I'm just going to control C to copy it and then control V to paste it here. Coming soon. And the last thing we're going to do is a couple of, of uh, images here that we got from Google. So we're going to do these guys because they look like they're having a good time working out. So once again, we're going to use the fuzzy tool. Make sure that the alpha layer is selected. Select the white area and hit delete. And just like that, we're going to click out here to delete it or to unselect it. Okay, control C and then control V and we're just gonna put these right here and then click outside and it's been anchored so what you can do is um, if you have contact information or a picture or anything you know you can add it here whatever you want but at this point you're done making the banner so what we're gonna do is we're gonna export it because um, if you just go to save, it's actually going to save it in GIMP's uh, format. So it'll only be previewable or editable in, in GIMP. So what we want to do is export it. So go to export. And what we're going to do is, if this file extension is not PNG, we're going to go ahead and make it .png so that GIMP knows how to save it. I'm going to put it in my picture folder and then I'm going to go ahead and hit export and then this little menu is going to pop up make sure that you uh, save background color okay which is of course transparent if it's in PNG format um, everything else looks good hit export and you just saved your banner as a picture file now that you can use for your website um, um, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments on the video. I know I went kind of fast, but I had a lot to cover, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks, guys. Leave comments and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.